Welcome to episode three of season two of Unlimited Vacation Clubs podcast, Cruise in the USC World. Mike, how are you? Welcome to another episode. Thank you, Charlie. I'm great. Very excited to be here. And very, very excited because we are going to be talking about one of our favorite destinations in the entire company, which is Punta Cana. I know. I love Punta Cana and being able to tell our members about Punta Cana is amazing. Let's start. Let's get started. Punta Cana is located on the east coast of the Dominican Republic and it's famous for its vacational uh, hotels, resorts, and the beautiful beaches of sparkling waters. The international airport is only five miles away. And also this dreamy destination sits on a coastline of over 30 miles of white sand beaches adorned by tall palm trees and turquoise waters. Also, Punta Cana offers beautiful natural landscapes and vibrant nightlife, the perfect setting for a romantic getaway. Look at all the popular beaches in the Punta Cana area like Playa Arena Gorda, Bávaro, Ubero Alto, La Bacama, Macao, and El Cortecito. Also, we have Cabeza de Toro, Cabo Engaño, Punta Cana, and Juanillo. Ten beaches right there. And the region has some of the most luxurious resorts in the Caribbean. So it's considered a top tourist destination. And uh, popular activities in Punta Cana include water sports, golf, cultural and historical visits. So due to the international fame that they have, Punta Cana is considered the leading destination in the Dominican Republic and one of the most important in the Caribbean. Also, Punta Cana is home of the famous Bávaro Runners. This company has operated since 1996 and is known for offering outdoor experiences such as excursions, zipline adventures, horse riding tours, and buggy rides. Indigenous Ice Ecological Reserve is a protected area encompassing 12 freshwater lagoons, vast flora and fauna, and several archaeological sites. The best kept secret in Punta Cana is a beautiful park spanning over 1,500 acres of subtropical forest and more than 500 species of plants. The park offers guided tours to learn more about these natural wonders, rich natural and cultural importance. Igwe is a monument worth visiting. A few minutes by car from Punta Cana, the Catholic Church dedicated to Our Lady of Alta Gracia, the patroness of the Dominican Republic, ranking as one of the most significant religious sites in the Caribbean. Now, for all of our members that like to play golf, they're gonna like what I'm gonna say because Punta Cana is a golfer's paradise with many championship courses, including the world famous Corales Golf Course, designed by Tom Fazio. This place has awe-inspiring ocean views. And although Punta Cana is a relatively small area, a few dozen miles long, it's dotted with fantastic golf courses designed by high-profile celebrities of this sport, such as Jack Nicholas, Tom Fazio, and Nick Faldo to name a few. The Punta Cana Village is a charming luxury commercial and residential community a few minutes from the airport. It offers a wide variety of shopping, dining and exclusive experiences. Throughout the year, concerts and events occur in its lovely central plaza. Macao Beach is a breathtaking location a short distance away from Punta Cana. This beach is famous for its crystal clear waters, soft sand and excellent surfing conditions. A perfect spot to swim, suntan and catch the waves. Skate Park is a natural theme park very close from Secrets Cap Cana, where you will find numerous fun and thrilling activities like the zip lining, cave exploration, and cenote swimming. Of course, kids will love the fantastic dinosaur exhibit. Let's talk about food. And for all members that are foodies like me, the Dominican Republic has a widely recognized dishes, including sancocho, a rich stew with meats and vegetables, the mofongo, made with smashed bananas and tostones, also with bananas. Seafood is also the base of the local cuisine with delicacies such as lobster, shrimp and fish, octopus. So find your favorite dish in the many regional restaurants. So what can we find close by? There are many villages and cities where worth visiting around Punta Cana. One great example is La Romana. It's a city only 15 minutes away where sugarcane, tobacco plantations, and tourism are the primary source of income. Bayaibe is a small fisherman village near La Romana. Only 15 minutes from Punta Cana, Bávaro is home to many resorts, hotels, restaurants, and bars. This area is known for 
It's a vibrant nightlife offering all sorts of clubs and lounges to enjoy music, dance, meet new friends and entertainment. Cabeza de Toro offers scenic views of the east coast of the Dominican Republic, very close to Punta Cana actually. Famous for its pristine waters, powder white beaches and coral reefs, this is a popular spot for snorkeling and diving. And last is Uvero Alto, a gorgeous beach on the northern coast, less than an hour from Punta Cana. The beach is quieter with calm waters and spectacular beauty. So Mike, let's talk about the fun facts of Punta Cana. We have many. We have 10 fun facts that make you fall in love with this tropical paradise. Punta Cana is a Spanish phrase that means tip of the white cane palms. This region has tropical and warm weather all year round with an average temperature of 80 Fahrenheit or 27 Celsius. Punta Cana International Airport is the busiest in the Dominican Republic, serving millions of passengers annually. This is the ideal place to practice water sports like scuba diving, snorkeling and windsurfing. Punta Cana is famous for its championship golf courses, making it a golfer's paradise. Natural wonders and parks surround the area, including the Punta Cana Ecological Reserve. One famous spirit from this region is the Mama Juana, a spicy liquor made by infusing a mixture of rum, red wine, and honey with tree bark and herbs. <laughs> Have you tried it? Yeah, that's why I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the National Park of Cotubanama is close to La Romana and Bayahibe, where you can explore amazing uh, caves inhabited by native tribes. Bavaro Beach offers a breathtaking landscape. According to the UNESCO, this is one of the 10 best beaches in the world. One hour away from Punta Cana is Isla Saona. It has been featured in many movies set on a deserted island. And now, introducing the resource that we have over there in Punta Cana, Charlie. So, if you're considering Punta Cana as your next destination, UVC offers you nine options. Each resort is exceptional and delivers a unique experience. Our first stop is Secrets Cap Cana, within the gated community of Cap Cana. This is a place to experience romance and the highest level of luxury by the sea, an adults-only property with excellent amenities, nightly entertainment, and superior service. Find the ultimate relaxing experience in one of the swim-up bars and the spa by Pevonia, or on the expansive white sand beach. We offer eight dining options with a variety of cuisines, from Italian and Asian to buffet styles. This resort has 457 guest rooms, and it is important to note that Secrets Capcan is part of the sustainable tourism program of the Rainforest Alliance. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. I mean, this is amazing. That's located in Juanillo Beach, right? Exactly, yes. Now, uh, recently open and ready to welcome the whole family, Dreams Flora is located in the palm tree studded beach of Cabeza de Toro and surrounded by a lush jungle. Nearby, there's a little lagoon as well. And this resort is very close to the airport and theme parks in the area. The complex offers 520 luxuriously appointed guest rooms and suites with contemporary Caribbean decor. Rest in your spacious room, spacious room or upgrade to a preferred suite with exclusive privileges to elevate your stay. Here we have eight dining options with flavors from around the world, lunch by the pool, or shop till you drop in one of the many stores of the property. Well, one of our next resorts is located on Macau Beach. Dreams Macau Beach Resort and Spa is only 40 minutes away from Punta Cana International Airport. This family-friendly resort offers complimentary access to a water park, complete with slides, a lazy river, and a splash zone for the kids. With 500 rooms and suites, this resort offers beautiful views and a large outdoor spaces. Most ground floor suites directly access the swimming pool from their private terrace. This is the only resort in the area with a virtual reality game room, a bowling alley, and a paintball field. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it's very complete. Yeah. Now, if you want to feel at home also in the Dreams Onyx Resort and Spa, located in Ubero Alto, on the northern side of Punta Cana. And this expansive resort has 822 spacious suites with luxury amenities, including Whirlpool Top in every room and a furnished private balconies or terraces. 
The family section has 320 junior premium or two bedroom suites with a convenient location close to the swimming pool. Kids will have a blast in the water slides and artificial river, socializing in the core zone for teenagers and the Explorers Club. Limitless gourmet meals and beverages await in any of the nine restaurants and 10 bars, plus the additional options from Breathless Punta Cana next door. Prepare to have your expectations exceeded. Our next stop is Breathless Punta Cana Resort and Spa, a tropical haven which is found on the north and east coast of the Dominican Republic between the jungle and the ocean. With 750 suites and abundant entertainment, you can start your day with a fitness class under the palm trees or lay under the sun by the pool. If you want to take your day to the next level, check out the social scene at the freestyle pool with live DJ music and curated cocktails. Access privileges to the adjacent Dreamsonics Resort and Spa and expand your dining and bar options on the top of the 11 gourmet restaurants and bars and lounges on the property. So also the Excel Club offers two private pools and exclusive privileges. Yeah, imagine all of the options that our members have in Punta Cana are amazing. And prepare to be pampered at Secrets Royal Beach with a superb location on Bavaro Beach. This resort has been recognized by the AAA for Diamond Award and sits on a dreamy beach with calm, crystal clear waters. With 641 junior suites, each with a whirlpool tub and grill, this resort offers ADA handicap accessible accommodations. One of our favorite room categories is the preferred club swim up suite with direct access to the lazy river connecting with the preferred club infinity pool. This section also has a Caribbean oasis with six valley beds and a beach butler service. Members staying at the Secrets Royal Beach will have free access to Dreams Royal Beach Punta Cana facilities. And precisely, let's talk about Dreams Royal Beach. It's only 23 minutes away from the Punta Cana's airport. This resort boasts the luxury of the highest level of for families and couples, providing the ideal oceanfront setting with 373 spacious rooms and suites designed to accommodate large families of up to six guests. Everyone will find their favorite dish in one of the seven gourmet options with international fare and top shelf drinks serving the 10 bars and lounges. Kids will have a fun, kids will have so much fun at the Explorers Club and teens will socialize at the Core Zone Club. For adults, relaxation awaits at the spa on the neighboring Secrets Royal Beach Punta Cana with a fast service menu including body, facial and beauty treatments. Now, uh, Charlie, I always thought that Zoetry is like a great place to get inspiration to maybe you want to write a song or maybe you want to write a book, right? Or, or, you know, be with yourself. So for those seeking this kind of serenity, the answer is quiet and uncrowded place. Zoetry Agua Punta Cana. This luxury boutique resort has only 96 rooms where our members will find well-deserved rest. Located in Ubero Alto, a private beach in Punta Cana, the resort offers two bars by the pool and four specialty restaurants with a la carte service and vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options. You will be able to personalize the name of your suite, enjoy enriching experiences such as horseback riding on the beach or making a grand entrance by arriving on a helicopter. Of course, you have to reserve this with the concierge. And last but not least, we have Dreams Dominicus La Romana, only 50 minutes away, located in this beautiful province of La Romana. It's set along the beach of Baya Ibe, a fishing village turned into a popular tourist destination. This grand resort offers 488 spacious rooms and suites. Forget your worries of Dreams Dominicus, and this resort will offer you 10 restaurants with various types of cuisines, uh, of course, with bars ranging from elegant, lovely lounges to swim up bars, nightclubs, and live entertainment. Fun is guaranteed. Mike, in this celebration of episode three and the season two of Cruise in the UBC World, we have a very special guest for us, which is Marcela Telles. She's a regional member services coordinator for Dominican Republic and Colombia. 
Uh, she started uh, very, very young working in the industry. She's from Veracruz, Mexico. Uh, she worked in different uh, positions dedicated to customer service and vacation clubs, mostly in Mexico, in Cancun, Cozumel, Cabos. As well, she, she's been living in Dominican Republic since 2012 and also started working in UVC in different positions in Curacao, Jamaica, and right now in Punta Cana, and Puerto Plata, and Colombia, right now in Cartagena. So welcome, Marce. It's a very special pleasure having you in this show. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Mike. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for the invitation, and I'm very, very excited about this. It's nice to have you in the show, Marce. I didn't know you were from, from Veracruz, Mexico. Yes, I'm from Veracruz, uh, the place where you can have uh, fish, seafood, great coffee. It's one of the best places in Mexico for uh, coffee and uh, very warm people. So uh, it's a very beautiful place. I don't know if you've been there, but it's very nice, very nice place. No, I know it's really beautiful and uh, as well as Punta Cana. And I've heard you're an expert in, you know, going around Punta Cana. How long have you been there living already? I've been living here for 11 years. It's been a great experience. Um, I've seen the development of, of Punta Cana and the whole area in general, the, the island. So it's it's been awesome to see how more people uh, come to this destination and, and discover a beautiful place with uh, secluded and, and pristine beaches, a very safe, uh, a beautiful place that has everything, everything to offer. So for, for the members that are listening to this uh podcast right now and and please uh, understand that right now we're with a real expert in Punta Cana which is Marcela. Marce which is the top three beaches that you recommend over there? Well it is very difficult to um, produce these just to, to three beaches to be honest because um, the island the whole island has different places for depending on what you're looking for you know Uh, locally, in the area of Bávaro Punta Cana, uh, I love uh, Macau Beach, for example. It's, uh, it's a beautiful beach, very popular for uh, surfing on season. Uh, it's a place where you can go there and have a, a, a fish, very fresh, lobster, shrimp, great restaurants, uh, and it's so much fun for the whole family. Um, it, this is in the area of, of uh, Bávaro Punta Cana. Also, the Juanillo Beach, the beach by uh, Capcana, is beautiful all year round. It's uh, uh, pristine beaches, uh, weather it was perfect. Um, what can I tell you? It's it's one of my favorites. But I would say uh, uh, one that is very special because you know um, uh, it's it's uh, beautiful all year round. Uh, no seaweed, nothing like that. It's the one in La Romana, it's Valle Ibe Beach. It's beautiful. And you can see beautiful sunsets on that area, on that part of the island. So um, I would say if I had to reduce to these three um, beaches in the, in the area, I would say those are like the top three. Beautiful, beautiful beaches, depending on what you're looking for. So Marce, if our members want to explore in the surrounding areas of Punta Cana, we know that's a very, very spread uh, region. Uh, what other points of interest would you recommend them? You know, besides, of course, these, these beaches that you just mentioned, what other little towns or, or areas would you recommend? Well, in terms of um, towns to visit, uh, we have, for example, like about 40 minutes from uh, Punta Cana area is uh, La Romana in Altos de Chabón. Um, it's a beautiful place um, uh, where you can uh, find, uh, there is a little town with uh, local houses and art galleries and, uh, and it is a beautiful place called Altos de Chabón where you can also have uh, dinner and uh, a beautiful view uh, of the beach and the area of La Romana that is actually the, the, the area of La Romana and um, is very well known because the famous and rich have uh, houses in a, in a very uh, a exclusive area there, you know, it's, it's a beautiful place. Um, and it's only for about 40 minutes from Punta Cana area, um, not that, that, that far. 
if you have, for example, um, kids, you can do boogies and ATVs around the Macau area. Um, that is, is so much fun because it's a combination of the dirt roads and the desert. And you, at the end of the tour, you uh, finalize uh, by the beach. So it's it's beautiful. It's a combination of, of both and you cross some river beds and it's, it's awesome if you have, uh, you can be with your family. Um, horseback riding, for example, around the area also, and uh, zip lining is very popular. And, um, and and those are like the close by areas. Um, besides, you know, Santo Domingo, that is about two hours from here. That's uh, always something to do for every age. Now, Marce, I know Santo Domingo. What do you recommend uh, our members can do over there if they went? Santo Domingo is um, is a historical place. It's the capital of the of, of the Dominican Republic, um, and Santo Domingo is a great combination of history and you know, um, in, in, in uh, a large city that has everything to offer. Uh, in the colonial zone, in the historic part in the area. Um, you can visit, you know, the the colonial zone and um, take a look and walk around to see the old houses. But especially, what I I always recommend is uh, the cathedral, because it's it was the first one in America. It's uh, very exciting uh, to to go see um, the Gothic style of of the basilica and the inside. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Um, also, in the colonial area, there is a place called um, El Faro de Colón, which is um, a statue of, of Christopher Columbus. Uh, there was a legend that said that from a part of um, the rem- his remains uh, were there, but um, we don't know if that's true. But uh, it's a very interesting uh, story uh, about that monument. Uh, also, uh, there is um, a palace that is called Alcázar de Colón, is uh, where the the son of Christopher Columbus established the the first city in the Americas in this in this area, and uh, it's very very interesting to see um, all the, the the historical you know buildings of the colonial zone. Uh, take a walk, have a sip of coffee, which is great. Um, Dominican coffee is one of the best uh, in the world. It's, it's really, really good. And uh, or chocolate, you know, it's also uh, very common to go by the stores and they can give you a sip of, of uh, and a taste of uh, local chocolate. So um, it's a great place to visit if you're looking for historical and uh, history and um, and something interesting, you know, to know about about the history of the Americas. So now, uh, Marce Bávaro is very well known for being a little Caribbean spot close to Punta Cana and also being a part of the nightlife in the area. Uh, so what activities do you recommend to, for our members uh, on Bávaro? Around the Bávaro area, um, well, you, we, can, we have different things, you know. Uh, if you're coming a uh, family with kids, you can do a safari tour uh, to go and play with monkeys. Uh, in the in, in the middle of the jungle, uh, you can do swimming with the dolphins, horseback riding by the beach, um, in, in local uh, places, uh, uh, secluded, uh, very beautiful views of the area. Of course, if you're looking to have fun, uh, we have different places to enjoy also nightlife for adults. So we have a little bit of everything for all ages. Marce, we know that the DR has two jewels, which is Saona Island and Catalina Island. What should we know about that? Actually, Saona Island, you know, it's the most visited island or or, uh, a beach that we have in the whole Dominican Republic. It's the most sea place is the 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 it's a must if you come to dominican republic and we you, you don't go to saona it's like never been here you know 
it's a beautiful island um, in uh, that is um, uh, very famous for uh, the, those beautiful beaches that um, are called or we call them um, uh, like a, like look like a swimming pool it's like like getting into a swimming pool uh, because the water is so clear uh, you can snorkel and um, usually if you take a tour for example uh, they take you there and you have lunch in the island they take you um, from Valle Ibe area in a catamaran to the island and you get some time to swim um, at the at the beach and then you can have lobster and and shrimp and local food uh, while you are there um, and it's, it's one of the best uh, beaches uh, that we have in the whole island. Um, it's, uh, it's a very famous place and it's like a must. You, you have to uh, come here if, uh, if, if you come. And Isla Catalina, on the other hand, is not as popular as uh, Saona, but uh, is really, really beautiful. The characteristic about Isla Catalina is uh, uh, that it's an uninhabited island and uh, in the same you can find a beautiful beach but for example there you can snorkel and see some live coral reef um, uh, which is uh, uh, unusual you know not, not in every place you can you can find it so it's a protected area where you can snorkel and also scuba dive um, it's very famous for scuba diving also, and it's not as busy or visited as, as uh, Isla Saona. So both options are perfect depending what you're looking for. Well, Marce, certainly you know a lot about Punta Cana and it's been a pleasure having you on the show. So thank you so much for joining us. And, you know, we'll keep in touch and our members to invite them, uh, you know, to get in touch with us whenever you are there. You are very helpful always with them and uh, you always give some clarity and are very friendly with our members thank you so much as usual yeah marce thank you and see you soon in colombia see you soon of course i hope to see you soon here and you're always welcome thank you so much for this invitation and now a favorite which is the uvc hacks mike did you know you can enjoy the old may family vacation at trips resorts and spas Yes, our members can relax on the beach with the whole family at the highest level of luxury. Find out more about Dreams Resorts and Spas with this UVC hack. Charlie, the phone is ringing. Oh, it's me. I just received a message via Facebook from a member. Mm, it says that he wants to travel with the family to celebrate his birthday. Tell him not to worry. Dreams Resorts and Spas offer a variety of destinations to suit every preferences. The resort are beachfront destinations in Mexico, the Caribbean, Central America, South America, and Europe. The Dreams brand has family-friendly resorts and are the perfect setting for weddings, honeymoons, and romantic getaways. And with your limited luxury program, vacations are enjoyed to the max. And this is an excellent option for planning family and friends vacation, you know why? Yes, Mike, for members traveling with children, the Explorers Club and Core Zone, and are supervised with fun activities programs for our ages 2 to 17. Every member of the family will enjoy limitless gourmet options and premium beverages. But Mike, what other activities can our members enjoy? While the children and teens enjoy their day, members can relax at the spa. There are many daily activities. Check the program with the entertainment team. So live unforgettable moments in dreams, resorts and spas. Book today and get to know our 24 resorts at unlimitedvacationclub.com. Mike, as usual, I want to take just a second to remind our members to write us to social media at unlimitedvc.com and let us know what are your favorite resorts in the Dominican Republic, specifically in Punta Cana. And we are very, very excited to keep receiving all this feedback from our members. And now, the traveling quote of this episode. No introductions are necessary for Punta Cana. This is a fantastic destination that must be on everyone's bucket list. I ask our members and audience, 
Do you need more reasons to visit Punta Cana? Now it's time to share the quote of the day. Exploring and traveling is way better than dreaming. Discover Punta Cana and drink a Mama Juana. Ya tu sabe. Es verdad. Ya tu sabe, mae. Es verdad. Que lo que. One more time, we want to remind our members to follow us on our official social media networks on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere, as well as Twitter. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Cruising the UBC World featuring Puerto Plata. We'll see you in Puerto Plata, Charlie. Talk to you soon. The opinions expressed in this podcast are the sole responsibility of the person providing them and do not necessarily reflect the official position of Unlimited Vacation Club or its constituent entities. The information provided in this podcast may vary at the time of listening. Always consult the updated information on our website or throughout our official media.